Hi all, welcome to the Night Rips. And happy but sad, we are actually going to open six more packs of 1995 Top Stadium Club Series 2. This is the last six packs from this box. Now I'll say happy and sad because anytime you get to the bottom of a box that's sad, happy because we're actually extending our, you know, the, the chase for everything Stadium Club base. And since I started this box with nothing in that column, opening up this last six packs will, will I'll go back, I'll collate, I'll figure out how much I have. So I have no clue. So appreciate joining this journey with me. And of course, the way you know what I put stuff up and that I'm doing this journey is by joining the channel, by hitting that subscribe button below and hitting the notify bell. So let's go ahead and zoom on in and see what we can find. Now there is two box hits that I haven't gotten yet. Those hits being a phone card, a ring phone card, and the super skills card. Now the super skills card, what it looks like, no clue. Um, I mean, I, I guess I could go look it up on Google or something like that. Um, I just haven't. The phone card I have gotten before, and I can't tell if that's it or not, um, I have gotten it from Series 1. I've actually gotten a couple of them. But the crazy thing is that I got two of them in the same box. But the first box, I got none. So that one was a dud box all the way around. So let's just take a look at who we have. Since this is a lot of the base we've seen before, going pretty quick, but still taking a second to pause. Since these are gorgeous cards, I mean, Stadium Club always is. Nice Pedro Martinez. Of course, this is still when he was with the Expos. Let me get back here a little bit. That's when he was still with the Expos. Post-Dodgers, pre-Red Sox. Of course, he was still a great player, even with the even with the Expos. Of course, that would be the Nationals today, since the Expos did move. All right, got two here. A little bit stuck. Not bad, but I just couldn't pull them apart. We got Kurt Abbott, Steve Dreyer, and we have a cover story. And that would be a cover story of Jose Valentin. And the reason I know that is not because I know his face, it's because I've pulled this one before. Just like this cover story. Uh, shoot, I can't remember who it is. Carlos Barrega, or Berga. I will never name, say that name right. Again, another one I've already pulled. And this wasn't the phone card. This was trying to sell you the membership of Stadium Club and buy cards, which I never did, and they're expired. But we always tells us where our virtual reality card is. This one for Butch Henry. There's Tom Candy, Candiotti, and end it with the crime dog, Fred McGriff. Okay, pack number two. We only have five cards to find that phone card. Or five packs, that is. Hmm, that one's kind of, looks a little thinnish. All right, there's Willie Green with his back, back part photoshopped out. Joey Hamilton, another Dante Bichette. We pull a lot of him. Ellis Burks, David Hulse. The only reason I'm saying these names, in case you can't read the gold print, because sometimes that's hard. Donnie Baseball. I know it's hard for me at times. So. Just trying to help. Daryl Kyle. And we got ourselves another staged image there. Looking like he's catching it off the back wall. Turner Ward. You would never be able to get that shot live. For the best seat in the house, and this is one we've already gotten before, would be Kirby Puckett. Wally Joyner. We got our virtual reality checklist 
which tells us the next card is a virtual reality, and it is. It is Pat Henkin. Henkin, I think? Hmm. Don't know. There's Jimmy Key. And we end it with Pat Kelly. Of course, that's a live image. You can definitely tell it's a live image. Just the looks on their face. You can. That's the funny thing is that when they start staging those images, you can just read their eyes and tell them that they're it's a fake. Still think it's kind of cool though that they try to recreate it though. Okay, let's get these apart. Let's see if I can get it do it right. No, I actually did it right this time. All right. There's Rick White. Eddie Williams. Wes Chamberlain. This Jim Layritz, it always throws me off because it looks like it's the buckles on his uh, leg pads or leg shields or whatever they call them. It always looks like it's a messed up card because I've seen too much damage like that. So it throws me off every single time. Mark Grace, again, not staged. You can read it in his eyes. There's Kurt Abbott. All right, come on. At least you don't hear it rip. That, that's what always drives me crazy. Troy Neal, the big hurt. So when you hear that, that tearing sound, it just tears at your soul. There's Berga. Eddie Zambrano. And we have our sell card. Our send us money card. Which would tell us the next one would be our virtual reality. And we got... Henry Rodriguez. And I think so far, every one of these has been uh, unique. There's Jose Valentin. You can read in his eyes, this one's fake. And the fact that the dirt's not kicking up. You at least have a little bit of dust if you're making a slide like that. Pack number four. I'm finding it interesting. The first two box hits were in the front of the box on the top three packs. Exactly which pack I don't remember. The uh, last one, we're in the back left, like third from the end, and we still haven't found those other box hits. So, just fascinating to me. It's Pedro, the big unit, Randy Johnson, different than the big hurt. So, I wonder if the big hurt, if the big unit struck out the big hurt. I don't know. A lot of bigs there. Dave Fleming, Mark Portugal. Definitely seeing a lot of a lot of repeats, which is to be expected. Small set, so I can only imagine what's gonna happen with the last one, because there's only 135 in that next in that last one. Got a that's a fake scene if I've ever seen it. Definitely can read it in his eyes, it's not happening. That would be Chuck Carr, which we've already pulled. Jim Converse. Albie Lopez. Our virtual reality checklist, which tells me Nexus virtual reality, which is Bill Swift. We got John Wetland, and we end it with Ellis Burks. All right, two packs. Two packs to go. And we're missing two box hits. So we should find one in each if we're going to beat the odds. But to be honest, again, one of the box hits is a super skills card. And I've never seen one. So I'm just wondering if that's just a lie. <laughs> and if anybody knows, drop in the comment section. Because I honestly don't know what they look like. I've opened three boxes of this. You know, obviously both box uh from two from series one one from series two we're finishing up and have never seen it so i wonder if it's just one of those myths of the hobby i don't know i don't think unless the the skills card is different i don't think we've I, we definitely don't have a phone card because those are thicker and small. There's Tim Salmon. 
And we got another one of these. And you're going to start seeing a lot of dupes. This would be Jeff Conine. There's definitely a lot of cover story in these backs. Oh, what's this? 12 of 20. So this would be an insert. An insert of what? I don't know. Okay, this is the super skills. Oh, this is cool. I've never seen one of these. So it isn't a myth. It is the truth. This is, again, a one per box. And, of course, it would be Mar uh, Marquise Grissom. Of course, when he was with the Expos, he ended up here in Atlanta. Still lives here. But we're going to put him here since he has a box hit. And there is 20 of them. And I think the first 10 are in Series 1. The second 10 are in Series 2. That's the first one I've ever seen. So that's cool. That's one of our box hits, which tells me this last pack should be our phone card. Here's our membership card, along with our virtual reality. This time, Kevin Appier, Mike Messina, and then Kenny Lofton, another Brave. Of course, he wasn't Brave then either. All right, actually, I'm going to look at this here for a second, because it is a nice-looking foil. Super skills card, number to 20. Oh, it says 1 in 9 is in Series 1. So 10 through 20 is in Series 2. Hmm, interesting. Again, first time I've ever pulled one. So, this is it. The last pack of the box. This one should have the phone card in it. If it doesn't, it's kind of sad. Not that I can use the long distance, but the cards are cool because they have a ring of some sort. And, of course, the two that I got, unfortunately, were the same ring. So, let's see what we can find here. Okay. And I think I got one. I don't know. We will see. Actually, believe it or not, I might not. I'll just flip these over. All right. There's Aguilar Cedeno. All right, which we've seen. A lot of these we're going to see again. Again, 125 cards. I mean, sorry, 225 cards. You end up going through them pretty quick. Mike Lansing and Mark Grace. Bobby Munez. Jason Bear. Just, I can't tell, to be honest with you. I honestly think we might have gotten gypped. Rabio Menza Neo, Greg Vaughn, Stage Turner Ward, Butch Henry. Hmm. Got our club membership. John Smiley as our virtual reality. Todd Zeal and Mo Vaughn. We got no phone card. Huh. So, I mean, it is a 1 in 24 on average. So you'd, you'd think in a hobby box you were going to find one, but we didn't this time. Oh, well, we like I said, last time I opened a Series 1, the first box I had no phone card, the second box I had two. It all averages. That's a 1 in 24 pack. So somewhere probably there is a hobby box that has two. And it might be the hobby box that I have actually under my desk right now that we will open in the future. But let's go ahead and talk about what we got this time. You know, we did pull, these are the subsets. The best seat in the house, Kirby Puckett. Pulled that one before. Also, and I think most of these we've pulled the cover stories. And this is also one of the base sets, so, or the base subset. So you got to get them all if you're going to complete the entire base set, which we did get quite a bit of base. And that's what we're going for. We also pulled six more of the virtual reality cards. Those, you know, it is a, a insert set of its own. Not one that I'm chasing, but still pretty cool that I think in this entire box, every one of these virtual realities were unique. But the big one, the thing that I have opened a lot of this product and never found before is one of these super skills cards. This time of Marquise Grissom. With the Expos here, or yeah, with the Expos here, 
but obviously ended up with Atlanta and still lives just down the road in Marietta. So that's it. My final rip of 95 Stadium Club Series 2. Going to go ahead and collate all these cards, see how far I got. I do have another box of this that I will open in the future, not right away because let it cool down a little bit. But I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did, and I love, you know, sharing with you. And I'd love to, you know, have you all, y'all join the channel and come on this journey with me. And you can only do that by hitting that subscribe button there below and hitting the notify bell. Also, would really appreciate giving it a thumbs up to the video. And if you have any comments, leave it in the comment section below. Again, I love this journey. It is fun looking back on all these cards because how many of these guys are really Hall of Famers or had great careers that we remember fondly now that I'm a little bit older. I appreciate taking the time joining this journey with me. And until next time, bye now.